Um, so welcome back. This is part two of this um, R6 repair. So I'm not going to get into the um, what's the word why's and why nots of I'm not getting into the detail of carb cleaning and the different techniques and stuff in this video because that's not what this is about. Um, but these carbs have been soaking for 24 hours. Um, everything's now. <clears throat> Squeaky squeaky clean put the carb clean on that still um yeah everything wah, everything is squeaky clean um the cleaner that I use the chemical um don't bother asking me what it is because I'm not going to tell you I will tell you that originally it wasn't intended for the purpose I'm using it for it's from a different industry it's not readily available in the UK and that's as much as I'm going to tell you so the the chemical starts it starts out looking like that it starts slightly oily looking now these jets in here I've left the um I've left this to show you normally they just get rinsed off but it's it's fairly nasty stuff you really don't want to get it in your skin so you've got to be a bit suited and booted when you use it um so these jets went in all green and furry as as I think you saw um, and I'll, I'll I'll show you a picture of what they what they look like. So that's what they look like, and this is what they look like now. So basically, they're shiny, shiny brass. This chemical has completely dissolved all the um, stale fuel, and it's suspended in the liquid. So it they literally you can just rinse these off a brake cleaner, and they are they're as clean as they can ever possibly be. It's amazing stuff. This it's I've. I've managed to clean carbs that even failed in an ultrasonic cleaner. You couldn't get them squeaky, squeaky clean. It's incredible stuff. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. So I'm about to put these back together now. Um, another interesting fact is it's got a Dynajet kit fitted. So these needles are Dynajet needles because they've got... Get this in focus. See how it's got this little circlip with these little grooves the circlip fits in. So that's an adjust of that. You can adjust the height of this needle. Let's not get into that now. But the standard Yamaha needles are just fixed in one position. Um, I've got some genuine Yamaha float ball gaskets. Obviously, we need the, the need those. And these, this Tormax. I might have talked about Tormax in the past. Um, Tormax are basically, without getting into it too much, they're a company that source genuine parts and re and repackage them. Um, so this is actually a genuine Yamaha part in here, but it's a fifth of the price of the of the genuine Yamaha one. So I've got four of those as well, four float ball gaskets. Uh, yeah, so we'll put it together now, and uh, I think we might need to clean this. Uh, <clears throat> we could just use magic to clean this, actually. Um, those of you of a certain age will um, remember this spell. It goes something like, Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Just like that. Magic, in it. Although my magic isn't great, to be honest, because this air filter still... See this funny tide mark here? I've scrubbed this thing to within an inch of its life. It looks like somebody sat on it at some point as well. Um, yeah, it'll do for now, given the other issues this bike has, but yeah, probably ain't far off wanting a new one, even though it's a supposedly washable one but at least it'll filter air now bike could be able to breathe a bit right carbs back together and on the bike also fit a, set of, a new set of plugs too i like to i mentioned this maybe earlier on in this video when you do carb work always a good idea to put a set of plugs in as well just just because they're not expensive and just the way i like to do things a little bit ocd and maybe over the top but that is my way Okay guys, so just looking at the instructions for this Dynajet kit, because we know it's got a Dynajet kit fitted, and looky here, look at the position, or the supposed position of the clip on the, on the circle up on the needle. And look at the needle. Is that in focus? Yeah, I think it is. So that is the position of Z. That's what it's been running at. Um... Think back to how this thing ran, I a big flat spot just as it's basically coming onto the needle, coming off the idle idle jet onto the the needle controlling the fuel. This would have that, you know, that's going to exacerbate any problem. It's going to um, 
make it weak just as it's coming onto the needle. Um, yeah, strange that. Uh, so I'm gonna when I reassemble them, God, I'm shaking. When I reassemble them, I'm gonna put that circlet back to where it should be, which is the second one up from the bottom. Onwards. Right then, fill up your carbs. So with a Yamaha, you most of you know this already. You get when you turn the ignition on, you get a few seconds of fuel pump prime. So you have to. Keep turning the, the blah, 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 blah. keep turning the ignition switch on and off. Eventually, you hear that fuel pump clicking. The pump should stop, unless fuel is leaking out somewhere, in which case it won't. Still clicking. Here's a ticket. Okay. Jump pack. <coughs> Jump pack hooked up. Carb vacuum gauges on. Full choke. Cross your fingers, guys. Definitely on four cylinders. Right now, YouTube people, um, lovely smooth tick over on all four cylinders. Comes back down to a lovely even idle straight away. I was going to do a video about to turn this row off. I need to do a video about carb balancing because there's some shockingly bad ones out there on YouTube with lots of misinformation. So at some point, I was kind of thinking I might do it with this bike, but I'm kind of in a rush to get this bike finished. So I need to um, I need to crack on with this. Um, so I'll put the rest of it back together now, airbox on and stuff, and. We'll go have a ride on it. I'm I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's going to be absolutely fine, but we'll see. Right, old boys and girls, the moment of truth. God, it's so cold. My my gloves have been in the workshop. They're frozen solid. Can hardly move my fingers. Right. Right, so we've got a nice tick over. It's still warming up. I've, I have started it this morning. It's about... Blimey, it's about one degree above freezing at the moment. Um, I've run it for a couple of minutes and it's started fine this morning from cold. Um, so let's go ride it, see what happens. Can't be any worse than it was. We'll go my normal... Road test route. Blimey, it's freezing cold. Oh, straight away it feels a lot fitter. Oh, this is going to be the shortest road test ever. Even shorter than the wet one. I can feel my face freezing already. Gosh, shaky camera again. I really need to come up with a better way of filming road tests. I'm not even sure this is going to be usable video. We'll get on some smooth road in a minute. God, blimey. Got to be mindful of any wet patches because it, 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 oh, it must be below zero. Absolutely frozen, I've only gone 200 yards. Well, oh peeps. Whoa, we 
wheels spin. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's uh, got slightly more beans than before. Cold tyre, cold road. Wheel spinsville. Yeah, there's some water there on the road, frozen solid. Got to be real careful. <laughs> Fuck it out. It's definitely uh, that big horrible woolly flat spot in the middle there. Well, we now sort of let's get it down to 4,000. Don't know whether you can see the taco and then open the throttle. There's a slight gargle in the exhaust just as you accelerate. But it pulls clean. Oh, God, it's so cold. Shut me visor. Probably getting loads of wind noise, are you, from the mic? there's no cars in front of me now we can just give it a bit of potatoes here we go all on tight fuck it out goes well holy moly Woo! yeah baby right okay so We'll call this, I don't know how much of that you got because the camera went on a bit of a wonk then, so definitely the end of this video now. Consider it fixed. That big woolly spot has gone out of it completely. Um, it obviously needs, it needs the engine pulling out really and the low compression investigating. It's never going to be 100%, but we've got it. 90% of the way there, it runs on four cylinders now, pulls like a train. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you on the other side. <laughs>